Good afternoon. Nothing, I'm not sure. The date is um, 26th of January, and I think this is blog 8 or something. That, um, I'm, as you can see, I'm in a tent. I've just spent the whole day paddling down the river. Saw two, two really interesting things happen, but it's just basically paddling down the river. It's the wrong time of the year to, to see a lot of wildlife because it's um, wet. And when it's wet, they don't need to come. They, there's pools and streams and shit all over the park. So this is an island. I'm sitting on an island in the middle of the Zambezi River at the moment. Um, and uh, here, just across there is the main national park, Manor Pools, across the water there. We've got about a half a dozen hippos in the water just down here, so hopefully they don't come stumbling into my tent during the night. Um, which is, they're not very, they don't see well. So let's just hope they don't. Uh, it's been a long day, I'm, I'm a bit tired. But those two incidents that happened today, or well, the three incidents, the first one was this morning when I come back to my tent. I got this place that we're staying is pretty rough because they're, they're in the process of turning what was once an old campsite into a into a lodge. So they're building like a a bar and a pool and all that sort of stuff. But I my expectations aren't high because, you know, it's a budget trip, but I do expect toilet paper in the fucking toilets and I expect to get something to eat in the morning. Right? So when none of those things happened and it was like nine o'clock and nobody had even bothered to tell me what what's going on or when we were going to kick off, um, I decided that I'd had a gutful. The guy finally decided to turn up. I fucking ripped into him. He was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so... I said, I don't care how sorry you are. Toilet paper. How hard is it to fuck? You had two days warning that I was coming. Get some toilet paper. So I ripped into him and uh, he... Uh, he gave me a hundred bucks back straight away. <laughs> so that was good, <laughs> considering how expensive this trip is. Um, yeah, last night, last night, uh, Candy, my my mate, uh, he dropped me off at at um, at the at the camp place, and I, so I turned around and there's this old guy standing there. I, I chat to him. He's a, a Zambian, white Zambian. I don't know exactly know how many there are, but because they never really had the full colony stuff here so with the farmers and but he was a white zambian farmer and he's staying on a houseboat just down the rock just down the river so he invited me over had some beers and had a good chat and stuff and then the rain started and it was fucking i haven't seen that much rain and i don't know if i've ever seen that much rain so he just pissed down for hour after hour so I, I couldn't walk back it wasn't a long distance back but you can't walk around at night so he drove me back to my my tent I got in there, and then it just rained till 8 o'clock this morning. So when the rain left, I was expecting to be getting up and hitting the river, you know, like, but nah, they just fucked around. Lost two hours of rainless day, and we're due, we're due in a couple of hours for another storm. Because I think it's coming out of the cyclone in Mozambique. It's not normally this wet here. So anyway, so that's that's all the drama leading up to... <laughs> my yelling at this guy this morning within within five minutes. You know, they just left me there. They weren't going to feed me. They weren't going to give me anything. So within five minutes, there were eggs and bread and and a table set up and hot tea and all the rest of it. So, uh, and then he gave me the discount straight away, another discount. And I thought, thank you very much. I'll take that. I'll take a deep breath. And then the the two guys, the river guide and the, the guy who does the, the assisting best, his name is, he's, he and CB is a guide, and they had the, the canoes packed and ready to go. And, and but as he was saying to me, like, it's ridiculous, you, you got to have a few basics, and most people are happy. Um, so <laughs> okay, now, now to the fun bits. The first one was like a there was an egret flying across the river, and, and suddenly, out of nowhere, a sea eagle came right down on it, and the egret panicked and dropped the fish it had. And the eagle just swept straight in and grabbed it. A like, beautiful big bird, you know, like big white head, bit like those uh, those bald eagles in America. It looks a little bit like that, but got a lot more white on it. But just the the whole scene was just a classic, and we're uh, I feel a bit 
and the, the egret squawk and it was it was really unhappy when it dropped the fish um and the second one was a different issue it was like dangerous frighteningly so <laughs> we were paddling along the bank on the because in Bowie side is is where the Manapools National Park is and on the other side on the Zambian side there's no national park so we we paddled across the other side and we were running along the bank and it didn't I didn't even see the baby hippo uh but the next thing we know the mother's come running down and, and jumped off the bank into into the water behind us and is chasing us and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm by the time I realised what was going on, I started to paddle. It had taken a bite out of the back of the of the of the. Um, it hit us twice. It took a bite out of the back of the uh, canoe, and I could hear the, I could hear CB in the back screaming. He's going, fuck off, keep away from us. He's swinging his paddle at it, and and <laughs> it was it was it was frightening. It was. It, I'm and I'm just paddling like a madman. I paddle straight into the bank, and I'm like thinking, "What do I do? Do I stay in the boat, or do I just run for it?" Or, but by then we, he he she'd backed off. She was just trying to protect her young, you see. So, but fuck me, it was scary. I I I didn't. Well, when I it's I'm actually more scared now than when I was at the time because it didn't really occur to me what was going on. I look over my shoulder and I see this fucking huge mouth coming at us, <laughs> and the guy trying to fend it off with an oar, and I'm. I, it's fucking incredible. So I'm just sort of, I'm a little bit paranoid about them now. So whenever we see them in the river, I'm like, oh, he's going, get your camera out, take some photos, blah, blah, blah. And I go, yeah, but it's just a mother. So angry mother. So it's been a long day. I'm tired. We, we pulled over. I don't I don't know what the time is, but um, we are, oh, hang on. Time is, I don't know what the time is. Let me have a look. Uh, three fifteen. So we've been going for nine ish, three six hours, and uh, in the morning we'll continue down to Manor Pools. This is my tent. So I left it open because it gets really bloody hot in these things. And this is actually a uh, an island. I might just get up in the middle of the river. So there's that Zambia over there, Zimbabwe there. And, uh, yeah, so that's the 3180 or 360. So it's a beautiful place. And in the river there are, there are a number of hippos. So. That's it. So now the guys are put the tents up. They're going to make dinner early. Then I'll just chill out until the, it's time to cover up for the rain. Um, so that's it. It's been a good day. I've been wanting to do this since I was about 10 years old. And it's taken a long time to get here. But, uh, yeah, good day. Hopefully tomorrow we probably... What time are we leaving tomorrow, guys? Sorry? What time in the morning are we leaving? Uh, we have breakfast at 7 and then we leave... About 8, right? Yeah. So we'll leave about 8 tomorrow, um, go down to Manor Pools, and then uh, you get picked up there and driven back to the lodge where my driver will come and get me later in the day. But I'm trying to get back to Lusaka to get my uh, PCR test done today, tomorrow. And uh, there's a flight on two days later to Harare. If I miss that, I'll be stuck in the sucker for two or three days, but I don't mind. It's just, I'm not in a hurry. So it's all good. But there's our camp. Put the boys are working over there. So there you go. End of another day in Africa. Ciao.